Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Kalia Malcolm. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. We are halfway through the month of April, which is Autism Awareness Month. We have a special video by our very own RPTV members to teach us a bit more about autism awareness. Oh, hey, Daniela. Oh, hey, Kalia. Can you help me with something? Yeah, sure. I'm doing a research project for my history class, mm -hmm. but I don't know much about Autism Awareness Month. Do you? Yep, I can definitely help that. Autism Acceptance Month is about allowing kids to see that autism is unique. Oh, but what is autism? Well, autism is a difference in the way a person sees the world around them. So, of course, it's important for people to learn more about understanding the people that do have autism. Oh, wow, that's so cool. I would love to learn more. Of course, I can definitely tell you more. So, there's many ways where we can spread awareness. One way is, as you can see, is by setting up decorations and posters. If you look a little bit closer, you can see there's multiple puzzle pieces, which symbolizes the complexity and mystery of autism. This can help many kids to learn more about autism, including you. Oh, that's why there's so many pictures and decorations spreading positive messages. Yup. Speaking about positive messages, there's actually many people that advocate the acceptance of autism. Oh, let me get my notebook for this. So who are the people? There's many, so get ready. Some people that support it are Michelle Obama, Sonia Sotomayor, Michael Jordan, and more. So what exactly did they do? Well, for example, Kelly Rowland, a former Destiny's Child member, and Lady Gaga, a singer, commonly donates to the Autism Speaks Foundation, which funds for services and research toward helping and understanding the people that do have autism. Also, people can write books about it so others can learn more. Oh, so this is how we can spread our acceptance of autism. Yep, you are correct. After seeing all these decorations, it makes me wonder, is there anyone famous with autism? Well, there's actually many people you never thought would have it. Elon Musk, who's an entrepreneur and CEO, has Asperger's syndrome, which is a form of autism, but this never stopped him from making many achievements in his career that goes from science, technology, and engineering. He's now known as one of the most richest and smartest people in the world. Isn't that the guy that made Tesla? Yep, you're correct. And another one is the famous actor Anthony Hopkins. He also has Asperger's syndrome. Although it's challenging, it never stopped him from achieving many things in his career, as well as being in many films. One movie he was in was Thor from Marvel Studios. Oh, and I know that Dan Arknold, a screenwriter and comedian, has Asperger's syndrome, which never stopped him from making people laugh, including creating my favorite film, Ghostbusters. Yep. Many more are Albert Einstein, mathematician, Barack Obama, former president of America, who are confirmed to have a form of autism. This shows that even though they view the world differently, they can achieve the same goals as us. And there are a bunch of others that are believed to have autism, but not confirmed, such as Lionel Messi, Albert Einstein, Tim Burton, The Wright Brothers, William Shakespeare, Bill Gates, and even Leonardo da Vinci. Wow, that's a really good message. My teacher assigned this project because World Autism Acceptance Month. And I'm glad she did because there's a lot I didn't know. Thanks, Daniela. You're welcome. Let's go. Wow, that was very informative. Now let's go to Daniela for Today in History. Thank you, Kalia. Hey, Patriots. Today in History on April 17, 1964, Ford Motor Company unveiled the Mustang at the New York World's Fair. The Mustang achieved incredible success, not only because of its legendary introduction and promotion strategy, but also due to its reasonable price, excellent performance, unique design, and sense of enjoyment and independence. The starting price for the base model of the Mustang was $2,368, allowing a wide range of drivers to board this pony car. This car is legendary. Now let's go to Catherine for today's lunch. Thank you, Kalia. Today's lunch is spaghetti with Italian meat sauce, seasoned breadstick, turkey and cheese wrap, 
steamed broccoli, carne salad, ranch dressing, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is apple frutal, raisin bran, graham crackers, fresh apple, and 100% orange juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch meal can change at any time. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, and let's head back to Kalia. Thank you, Catherine. That sounds yum yum for my tum tum. Tomorrow, 7th and 8th grade will have the chance to go to the Patriot store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, please remember to keep your phones shut down and in your backpacks at all times, and there's no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. And don't forget that you can only wear a school jacket or sweater. Let's check out our top unified kickboard leaders. Awesome job, teachers. Please keep up the amazing job. This Friday's Autism Awareness Activity will be wearing something bright, something spectacular, and that will be a tie-dye shirt. I can't wait to see your bright design. Our lip sync battle sign-up is officially over. Now, the only thing that remains is the tickets, so come on down and get your ticket for the show. And don't forget, it will be $12. Today, grades 2nd through 3rd will have their honor roll ceremony, and tomorrow, 4th through 5th graders will be attending. Congrats to all of you that got in. And don't forget to get your very own yearbook. Isn't it nice to have a memory of you? Next Tuesday is our annual family night. This night will be awesome because it'll be at Anthony's Coal-Fired Pizza. It is from 3 to 7.30 p.m. I can't wait to see you there. Instructional software challenge is going on now. So if you meet your goals, K through second will have fun wearing pajamas and eating some fluffy pancakes, while third through eighth will have a good time playing some fun beach type games outside. These sound so amazing. Tomorrow, first graders will be taking their NWA math test. Good luck. Oh, and our girls flag football team had a game. I wonder how they did. Tell us, Jaceline. Hey, Patriots. Welcome back to sports. Yesterday, our girls flag football had a game against Parkway Christian. They sadly lost the game 12 to 33. The players who put in the most effort were number five, Josiah Francois, being the best fresher, and number four, Skylar Etsy, for being the best overall. Till next time. Bye, Patriots. Hello, Patriots. Welcome back to Let's Talk. I'm Jason Peña, and here we have our administrative assistant, Ms. Alves. Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm good. Good. We have some questions about your job as an administrative assistant. Shall we get started? Yes, ma'am. So many students know you work in the back office and cover teachers, but can you tell us a bit more about what you do? So with my position, I enter a lot of data, which would happen to be your attendance and volunteer hours for the parents and making sure that everything is correct. Those are some interesting things you do, but do you ever see yourself teaching in a classroom? I would prefer to be involved in your educational experience outside of the classroom than being in the classroom. Wow, that's a unique way of showing your appreciation for the students. In your opinion, what is the best part of your position? The best part of my position, I would say, is being involved in your lives and seeing the way you guys develop and you guys grow. That is amazing. Let's move on to our lightning round. So if you could travel back in time, what time period would you go to? Time period would I go to? I would go back to the, I want to say 90s. What is your favorite number? Three. Same. <laughs> How many cups of coffee do you drink in a day? One. Understandable. Climb a mountain or jump out of a plane? Climb a mountain. I'm Definitely. not jumping out of a plane. <laughs> <laughs> what is one country you would be okay with never visiting? Alaska. It's too cold up there. I love the cold. <laughs> we had a great time interviewing you today. Patriots, be sure to say hi to Miss Alvarez when you see her in the hallways. Bye, Patriots. Bye, Patriots. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 84 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. It's a good day to go to the beach. In other weather news, a star system is 3,000 light years away and is about to be visible to the naked eye. The star system, TCRB, is going to explode and make a supernova explosion, which will make the system as bright as our North Star. Did you know that this sighting is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity since it only happens every 80 years? After it explodes, we will have a new star among the septillions. The only way you can see it is from now to September, so be on the lookout. Now, switch your pages. Happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camila. Today's birthday boys and girls are 
Aleka Espino, Aaron Gosling, Shaheem Johnson, and our very own RPTV member, Samara Moncrief. Happy birthday! And now let's go back to Kalia. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, do the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Eugene, Miss Carter, Miss Sands, Miss Denqua, and Miss Arnold for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was David's father has three sons, Snap, Crackle, and who was the third son? The correct answer was David. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Which one is the missing square? Teachers, please send your answers to pinestartrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone here at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. Have a fantastic day!